What's up guys, welcome to your 48th Android tutorial, and in this tutorial we're going to eat some bread for the most part. Um, so in the last tutorial again we basically set up this intent, this intent's carrying this basket, and within that basket it has a piece of bread, which is their string reference, and again that piece of bread uh, is going to be called key. So if I'm like, hey, can I, have a, can I have that key? And you're like, what? And if you hand me a piece of bread, you know what I'm talking about. So basically, we've set up everything we need to within this uh, data class for 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 um, sending data, and then we're going to open up our open class. And what we're going to do is go in within our onCreate method, and we could create a method like get data or something, and then set it up within the brackets. But I'm just going to do it within our onCreate method because uh, I don't want to confuse you confuse you guys too much. But make sure you guys are doing this before or a, I'm sorry after you you initialized all your variables or if you had all your variables within your on create method do it below those as well so what we're gonna do is basically create a new bundle and this bundle is gonna be called got basket so let's say bundle and then we have to import bundle we're gonna say got basket first And then you guys will have to import the bundle. I was kind of uh, messing around with this just now as my video is rendering from the last tutorial. So, and how we're going to set up this bundle is basically the previous tutorial, you know, gave us some context from the last class, and uh, we're going to reference that. We're going to reference the intent. So what we're going to do is we're going to say get intent, and this is a method. So parentheses. And basically, that's going to get the intent that was passed into the class. We're going to hit dot, and we're going to say get extras because we added extras to the intent in the last tutorial. And now we're getting those extras. So just click that, and that's what our bundle is going to be equal to. Basically, it's going to get that basket for the most part. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say uh, we're going to set up a, a string. That's and we're going to set the string up above our class so it can refer be referenced in multiple methods. So we're going to say string, and we're going to say um, got bread for the most part. There we go. And then now we need to set up this got bread, basically to the bread from the last class. So we're going to say basically refer to this bundle that we just set up, which is going to get the extras from that intent that's being passed in. So we're going to say got basket dot and you can say get string because this is a string object so we're looking for a string and as you can see it takes a key within its parameters and so we're just going to click that and if you guys remember we cleverly labeled our key in the last tutorial key so basically that's the file name that we set up for our bread variable or bread string from the last class so basically it's going to set this got bread variable equal to our bread variable from the last class so hopefully you guys kind of get get that concept then all we're gonna do is set up our text view which is basically our question text view to this string that we just got so here you go this is why we had to do it before below our initialize because otherwise it won't have the reference to that string that text view so we're gonna set this text view equal to um, which is question and we're gonna say dot set text and then we're gonna label this as got bread so now we can pass a question along through through our application. I'm just going to kind of get out of here and then run it. And as it's running, I'll just talk over this again. Basically, our got basket is getting the bundle or getting the extras from the intent that's being passed into this class. And then our got bread is looking through that got basket. So, hey, man, I'm hungry. I need some bread. And they're, they're going to be like, hey, bread is called key. So if I'm like, hey, I, I, can I have a bite of that key? And you guys hand me some bread. I know I know you've been watching these tutorials. Because otherwise it won't make much sense. But basically this is the reference called key. And uh, that's going to be basically our bread string. And then we're going to set up, again, this text view to our, our string variable that we just got from that intent. So let's check out, make sure it works. Again, you guys have to uh, define this open class within the manifest as well. Then we're gonna hit data, and we're gonna say, we're gonna say Jessica Alba is dot dot dot, and then we're gonna say start activity. 
We're going to get an error. Of course, Jessica Alba would crash my application here. Uh, let's see what's up real quick. If I can't find it, I'll edit the video. Most part, it looks like this open class is having the activity or the problem here. And oh, I forgot to set up the radio button. Um, basically, the bridge from XML. So I'm going to set that up real quickly. Then the initialize method. And uh, just kind of have to refer that. Pretty important. Radio group. And we're going to find that by ID. If you guys ever get discouraged and you like mess up and like something's not working properly, everyone does it. Don't worry about it. So, hopefully, you guys are kind of understand this data thing a little bit better than before. And uh, we'll kind of, you know, hopefully make sure that works. Let's change that splash to like one second so I don't have to listen to that again. All right. Hopefully, everything works now. But, uh, all right, that's better. Data, and then we're going to say Jessica Alba is, and then start activity. Perfect. As you can see, there's our text Jessica Alba is. So that's pretty much uh, this tutorial. Next tutorial, we'll kind of set up these radio buttons and, um, Probably that's about it. So I'll catch you guys then and have a good one.